Hey beautiful people, in this quick and dirty how-to, we're going to install DaVinci Resolve 16 on Ubuntu. We'll need a copy of that, two versions. Grab the light or the studio if you have about 300 wet stinky caches to get rid of. And we're going to need Make Resolve Deb. Just uh, make sure you grab the version for 16 not b one one Drop those in a folder, get them extracted. You're going to end up with the .sh and the .run. Let's get a terminal open and take a look. First, let's run make resolve deb and see how that is going to work out. It's going to ask, do you want to install the studio version or the light version? Since we're using the free version, we'll use light. Now, this is the one dependency you will have to get installed. Zora ISO should be in a repository. So let's get that done with apt install Zora ISO. Once that's completed, let's rerun the resolve deb script and it should, in a moment, create a Debian package for DaVinci. Okay, that's finished. Now, often reports one error, but I've never had a problem with that since I've been using this. So let's get it installed with, you could use a package manager or anything like that. I'm just going to use dpackage i because it's quick and it'll work no matter what you're using. Let's use sudo dpackage dash i DaVinci Resolve. And this will take a moment. Once that's done, you should be ready to go. Really should be nothing left to do other than launch it. So let's, let's give it a try. Why not? In XFC, it dumps it into multimedia. Don't know where it would be on GNOME or KDE. Should be easy enough to find. I have the LGC Weekly project that I've been playing around with. I've only been using this for about a day. But just basic. Putting some clips in. Learning how to use keyframes in audio. But everything's working out relatively well. The clip editor works fine. Not had any issues with the editor color grading the audio system. All that works out pretty well. Really, really, really pleased with it. However, there is something you do need to keep in mind. This is a very common complaint. DaVinci does not work with um, MP4. So if you have a MPEG-4 file, you're going to have to convert that out to like ProRes or what I've done with DNX HD before you can import it into DaVinci and work with it. But once you do that, Bob is in fact your uncle and you're off to the races, making happy, fun, cool things. All right, that's it.